Okay, finally I'm able to make this uh, video clip for everybody. Okay, in this video clip I'm going to show you how to turn your iPod Touch or a better iPhone 4 with a HD camera in a really powerful microscope. I say microscope, you know what I mean? So, first of all what you want to do, you want to take your iPod Touch and put it on the side since you don't need it right now. In this case you go find a, a, a DVD burner or a CD burner open up the case, see what's going on inside inside you're gonna find of course the laser beam the laser by itself you can just save it since it's really a really powerful laser use it for like a, you know laser point and this one this one it's a really 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 good lens I don't know what it's made out of by but it's really really strong it's a simple little tiny lens as you can see okay what what you want to do with that you want to make like kind of a frame this way Zack. this is a simple uh, this is just a sample that I made like yesterday and uh, it's made out of plastic like I would probably say like a spongy rubber there it is you just cut it off make the shape out of it and what you want to do you want to just stick the lens inside so it stays you know kind of flat and stable see that I decided to make it like a rubber material since uh, it's able to take the shape of the back of my of my iPod Touch. As you can see, it's not really flat. It's got like a little smooth edge. Okay, this is my cover. So what you wanna do with that? You wanna just first of all you. I wanna show it's just an iPod Touch. iPod Touch four generation. Open up the camera. There we go. This is the front camera. There we go. This is the best close up you can have. After that, start to be really like fuzzy. It's actually good quality though. This is the front one. Okay, that's me recording. Okay, let's close it back for a second. And let's like localize the camera in the back. There we go. That's what it is. Take the magic lens. And put it on. Put it on between the cover, the case cover and your iPod touch uh, there we go let's open up back the the application that's still me turn upside down the camera there we go in this case it seems like you can't see really anything I mean you can but all the objects they look like uh, really far away from the from the camera see that everything out of focus like before if you get too close to something but in this case if you're going to pick up an object a really really small object like for example like a little animal like this one that you're you know barely able to see with your uh, with your eyes if you go with your camera and get close to the object really 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 close you can see it's a little tiny spider see that you can get closer and closer look at that and look at without without iPod Here's with the camera. Here's with our camera. Here's with the camera. There is with our camera. You can actually see even your skin. That's your skin, that's my end. See the quality. 
The only thing is yeah, you should be able to, to get stable and steady with your hand. I mean stable on the surface and, and uh, steady with the eye touch. See that? That's my skin. It's pretty cool, huh? And that's what it is. That's it. That's all about. It's really costless. Might be 10 bucks for to buy a really old used DVD burner, but that's all about. For the rest, it's just an iPod touch. Thank you guys for watching.